Hello, my friends, and welcome back. We are here, actually, in the Rising Stones. Just to see a little bit of a dialogue update, because we haven't talked to anybody since we learned of Minfilia's fate. Which, we haven't told anybody. Which is kind of depressing, but at the same time, I can un I can understand. We don't we don't want to make them more worried than, than we already are, and... Like, how do you even explain such a thing? Yeah, she got sucked up by- sucked up in the live stream and yeah, the, the mother crystal. You know, possessing her or whatnot. Um... Um... Did we not fill people in on this? I mean, maybe he's just too drunk to remember? Wilred is dead. He was murdered in cold blood. I, I don't think so. Okay, no, I think you need to do. You need to retire. I'm surprised Alien's not after your ass about doing this because you always end up getting hurt. Clements, why are you crying? Why are you upset? It's okay. What? 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 What is going on? What? What did you do to your sister? Oh! Oh! No! 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 Yes, you should leave about being socially for yourself. I would not want to be 10 yards away from this conversation. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got, we got a potential three-way going on here, and the poor sister is uh, pretty upset about this. Oh, dear lord. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, it's funny as hell, but... But I think before we continue our quest, really quick, we're gonna pay a quick visit to Vidofnir. Fresh off her stab wound to the spine. They, they say her wound was probably not mortal, but I think it's best we check up on her anyway for ourselves, just to make sure. I mean, I feel kind of terrible. Like, she just comes here on a mission of peace and to make friends, and yeah, daddy's brother just... Stab the shit out of her. You doing all right, friends? Aww, that is very sweet. That is very, very sweet. Okay, so now we can actually go back to the manor. And see what our friends have been up to. See, see what our plan's gonna be now. Seeing as Nidhogg has not only come back hijacking Astinian's body, still, but... Yeah, he's not fucking around anymore. He is ready to just try to murder us all. I guess he got tired of prolonging this war and is sick of our shit. Now, assuming he succeeds, obviously he's not going to. What the hell would he do with his life then? Uh, I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm gonna see who's inside the manor first. We gotta get all the extra dialogue. Gotta get it. You miss some great moments if you don't get this kind of thing. What's up, guys? Uh, Tataru, ta have you not been appraised of what happened at Falcon's Nest? I'm, I, I mean, on some level, I, I appreciate your positive attitude, but we're like Fifty Shades of Fucked. Again. Oh, that is so sweet.
Okay, now what do you have for me? It's probably gonna be like, oh, my friends have news, even though I literally just talked to him. Yeah, I, I just, I, I just walked in. I, I know, I know, I know. Gameplay story segregation, but I just find, like, all these moments I just find utterly hilarious. Like, I just spoke to you. Or like, Tyler, oh, you're needed at the congregation. Five minutes later, oh, I was looking for you. <laughs> all right. So what, what now? What is it you'd like to speak with me about? Have have you thought of any ideas to uh, free Astinian from Nuthug's control? I mean, you you did say you want to stay with Astinian, and, and I'm with you on that. But but I'm not sure this is possible. Do you have Do you have any ideas how the hell we would even do such a thing? I mean, probably such a thing has probably never happened before. No, but you also have no evidence to disprove it either. Oh, oh, okay. Well, where are they? I mean, they're not chilling at the Rising Stones and they're not here. Why not and just invite them to the manor? I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go inside, back inside the manor real quick, because I want to talk to the other manservant, because it's a line of flavor dialogue that I'm not sure is has shown up yet or not. And just while I'm thinking about this. Okay, so not yet, alright. Unless I missed it somewhere else. It may not have shown up yet, so I don't want to spoil it yet. Not that it's a huge spoiler, but I don't want to be that person. Again. So to the bar we go! So Tetero, do you even still work there? I mean, I know boss said you can kind of come and go as you please, but now that the Scions are reassembling once again and we have a crew, yeah, that, that, that's, quite, that's a few mouths to feed. Is Lucia still over here? Or is she held up in the office? So, we're gonna need money again. No, that's okay. It's alright. Yeah, we know Nidhug wants to murder us. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. I think we should work work on bolstering your defenses, because I don't think I don't think he's gonna sit around another hundred years or so. Before he makes do on his threat. Because it's a bar! D do you not know what Tataru does? One of her greatest skills is, is getting information from people and listening. She's here because it's a very good source of information. And that she knows how to take care of herself. It's not because she has a hidden desire to be a waitress. We have kept you waiting over long, I fear. Hey, they could have come not knocking worry, at the manor Alphano. if they wanted to. We had some rather fine mulled wine to keep us company. Truth be told, you could have delayed your arrival a few moments more. Damn, Kryl. Jibreon got the spicing just right this time. His latest batch is not only delicious and warming, but soothing to the humors. Can, can we not tease him about this, please? <laughs> Indeed. But it was not to soothe our humors that we gathered here. Ah, oh, no. Quite right. The matter of that poor dragoon. You have discovered something. A means to save him? Calm down. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Let us not jump to conclusions, shall we? Assess the facts presented, then make an educated analysis, as you were taught. Well, he's a master of friendship now, so yes, yes. Of course he's going to be a little bit worried about his friend. Pray, cast your mind back to the moment of Astinian's transformation. Do you recall how you described it to us? Uh, do you recall how I described it to you? 
You spoke of the sudden pangs which racked his body when you took up both of Nidhogg's eyes, and of how his form was twisted thereafter into a shadowy semblance of the Great Worm. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, that's what I told you, isn't when it? When he appeared at Falcon's Nest, the worm's eyes were fused to his mail. Yeah, and it was... And they were moving and crap. It, it was creepy. Yeah. Would that only his armor had been corrupted. Snaking forth from the eyes, I described dark tendrils which entangled his very being. His ether has been all but smothered. Then he is lost to us forever? What did I just say about jumping to conclusions? Yishtola clearly stated all but smothered. Uh, what did I tell you about friendship, Kryl? Come on! Come on! Especially what just happened to your best friend! As I later discovered, her impression matched my own. Though Nidhogg's presence filled my mind's eye, beneath his seething aura, I sensed the merest hint of something else. Okay, I'll take it. And after listening to Gishtola's observations, I became more certain of my suspicion that the something else I had sensed was, in fact, the trace of a different will, submerged in the sea of Nidhogg's rage. You mean? Yes, tis like that Estinian spirit yet lingers. Can we not wrest him from Nidhogg's grasp then? Tear the eyes from the armor. Uh, that. Do you think he's gonna let you get close enough to do that? I mean, good as idea of any, but. We know not if that would serve to separate Worm's soul from man's. None have ever attempted such a feat. Well, of course, because nothing like this has ever happened before. Should it offer even the faintest hope of success, then by the gods, I shall be the first to try. Alphino. By all means, hold fast to your hope, but be mindful of the dangers. Even should you succeed in excising the eyes from the dragoon's mail, we have no way of knowing if your friend's soul would survive so violent a separation. And that is to say nothing of the possibility that his would-be saviour might become Nidhogg's next host. Well, to be fair, he's a bit easier to kick the crap out of than Astinian is. Would that be such a terrible thing? <laughs> no offense, but... But what other choice remains to us? Should the opportunity present itself, I will tear those foul orbs from Astinian's armor and trust in the resilience of his soul, even at the risk of mine own. Teenagers. Ah, I found you at last. You okay? What's going on, Cinnamon Roll? Sorry we're not at the manor. It would have been a good idea to have the meeting there. A messenger of the Temple Knights came to the manor some few hours past. The Lord Commander humbly requests the company of the Warrior of Light and Master Alphano. Sir Emmerich would speak with us. Very well, thank you, Anawa. Yeah, and fuck those other scions. Twould seem duty calls. Pray see to yours. And we shall return to ours. Okay, not to labor the point here. Thank you, Yishtola, Kryl. Your words have given me hope where there was none. Double genocide about to happen here. Possibly any second. What other duty is more important than this right now? I mean, granted, yes, Nidhogg has, has not yet shown up again to make due on his promise, but he is going to. Totally going to. Mass murder. Fucking everywhere! Every fucking where! Saviors of the realm here, guys! Protecting the future for yours, yeah! You can't really do that job if all the friendly dragons and his guardians alike, and, well, Pricewilgar's kids and shit too, are dead! He's not fucking around, guys! Come then. Sir Emmerich awaits. What's going on, Kryl? Alphano is allowing his feelings for this dragoon to cloud his thoughts. I worry he may do something rash. Keep an eye on him, would you? Aw, Kryl's being a sweetheart right about now. But, uh, no. 
Uh, I mean, you have every right to worry that he's going to do something rash, but no. He pretty much just flat out stated his intent. He's... They think more of their friends to deliverance than their foes defeat. But will history commend their fealty or condemn their folly? So this is the first time we've actually seen Itty Bitty Mitty show up ever since he fashioned himself somehow, maybe restoring restoration of our blessing or something. And he, he made himself a, a, a perfectly normal-sized rideable dragon to us. So apparently he can maintain both forms, I guess. The conference held at Falcon's Nest was to be a celebration of the reconciliation twixt man and dragon. But the lingering shade of Nidhogg clad in the flesh of the Azure Dragoon, did mark the occasion by spilling the blood of his own kind. A timely atrocity to remind the children of Ishgard that the Dragonsong War was far from over. And when fear gave way to fury, the call to arms rang out anew. Death to Nidhogg. Death to Nidhogg. So, anyway, uh, while we, we visit her, I'm real quick there. One of the things I really actually appreciate about Cryo, and I said this last patch as well, when she was like, hey, thank Red, hello, I'd like to little know a little bit about the people I'm risking my lives for. She's the only one, like, Yashtola is like, meh, and then she just walks off. Kryo is the only one who recognizes that what Alphano was even suggesting, like, granted, it's possible you can put it, you know, you, you can kind of blame it on, like, teenage hormones and just being worried and, and just overreacting and, and, and all that good smarm and all that lovely crap. It's understandable, but at the same time, she recognizes he's he's potentially even presenting the idea of doing something extremely dangerous, and she's actually worried about him. Like Estella doesn't give a fuck. I, I I like that's one of the big things that annoys me about the Scions is is they don't sh really show compassion toward each other. Like yeah, you don't always want to be mixing business with pleasure, and you're not exa you know maybe you don't want to you know, be, act like your, your, your besties around in such an organization that does end up performing dangerous jobs that they risk their lives for, but at the same time, you don't need to, like, almost feel like you're, everyone's being thrown under the bus. Yeah, death is lurking around every single corner for you, but sometimes you need a reminder that, yes, you two people do care about each other, and yes, maybe you shouldn't do something completely stupid when there are other options available. Ugh. And furthermore, especially Yastola, and, well, by extension, Thancred, who is not currently around in this patch, at least not currently. Why are you letting a teenager do this? Why? If people are crazy. My friends, I thank you for coming. You have had news of Nidhogg? Alas, not. Our scouts range far and wide, but they have as yet found no trace of the Great Worm. Okay, good. Maybe you have a little bit of time. Bolster your defenses. Maybe ask the rest of the, the, the Eorzean Alliance to back you up on this. We dispatched an elite unit of dragoons to reconnoiter the churning mists, but even they returned empty-handed. A pity. Fear not, Alphano. We shall see the worm again soon enough. His words at Falcon's Nest attest to that. Indeed, he is like to come sooner than we would wish. I assume Ishgard's defenses are being bolstered as we speak? Yeah, I just said that. With all haste, I mean to call upon every able-bodied warrior at our disposal, from the Knights of the Four Houses to the men and women of the Watch. But I did not summon you to discuss strategy. 
Well, I guess if if we're all potentially doomed to die anyway, you might as you might as well just call everybody in, because even if you don't die in battle, well, you're you're gonna die at his hands, claws, something, whatever. Anyway, unless we win, so yeah, good idea. What then? What do you have of us, my lord? I will speak plain. Now that Nidhogg is possessed of both of his eyes, no mortal force we can muster will repel him. That being the case, we must needs recruit an ally of equal strength. Well, kind of half blessed from Ratatoskr's eyes or not. He, he, he was subdued the first time by whole 13 and half of them were dead by the end of it. So it's not impossible. Wait, we're, we're, we're still looking, we're still fighting an uphill battle here, but we, we know his weakness. We, we just need to strike at it. It's not going to be easy to do that, but it's better than knowing nothing. You speak of grace, Felga. Well, no shit, Alphano. I do. To whom else could we turn? That he is Nidhogg's equal, I do not deny. Nor can I name another. But convincing the reclusive creature to do battle with his own brood brother will be... How shall I put this? It will be no small undertaking, yes. Estinian's report was most particular about Reis Velga's unwillingness to involve himself in the affairs of men. Yeah, he told us not in so many words to, to kindly fuck off. Kindly, but fuck off. But much has changed since your visit to Somal. And if there is even a chance that the dragon may be swayed, I must plead our case. Whatever price the dragon asks of me, I shall pay it. Such was my oath, to defend the people of Ishgard. Come what may, my friends, the battle with Nidhogg will mark the end of my tenure as the acting head of church and state. Will you help me discharge this final duty? You are definitely marking yourself with the death flag, Emmerich. Holy crap. We will, my lord. Though I fear our involvement offers no guarantee of success. Come then, we will depart at your leisure. Thank you, both of you. The city is yours, First Commander. My lord, we shall pray for your swift return. And thus begins Operation Absolute Absurdity, take two. Well, I'm glad Lucia actually has a purpose in the office this time. I love her death, but I just don't like seeing her just sitting behind Sir Emmerich in his office. Like, just not taking part in the conversation. I'd rather her be out here, you know, at least looking like she's actually doing her job. Well, we gave him his eye back at least. Okay, it wasn't under the best circumstances, but... Come on, I, I, I think he, he owes it to us to at least hear us out. If, if nothing, if not for nothing to not apologize for, yeah, whoops, we, we, we totally did not intend for Vodopnir to get nearly mortally wounded in the process. Oh, everybody's like a big family. Group hug? I know not at the time, but... Maybe we can do the, the the whole arms are on the shoulder things uh, while we make our way to Annex Trine. Maybe skip up that partially paved cobblestone road like it's the yellow brick road. But we have to go there anyway. That's kind of where the foot of Somal is, Elvino.
One thing I am glad for is, even though obviously there hasn't been any actual time in which to do it, that Emmerich is making sure that even though we we are definitely, absolutely not making a pitch up to see if she's at the Forgotten Night herself, and she is, woohoo, that he's making sure she's, she's well informed because we don't exactly have the time to, to sit here and babble with her, but of course we do. Of course we do. See, she already even knows Sir Emmerich is that fucking good. Oh yeah. So that's gonna be it for now. So, again, Oper Operation Absolute Absurdity Take 2 is about to take place. Unfortunately, we do not have our companions Estinian or Izel here with us to potentially hear this answer. Hopefully we'll succeed. If not, well, we're kind of fucked, but it's one of those, well, it's a good idea as any, and even if we fail, we're no worse off than what we started to to be to begin with, so there's that, I guess. Might as well. So thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you next time.